Okay. Welcome to the Simple Aviation YouTube video. Now, well, this is a slightly different one, and today we're actually going to be doing the Jobs Beginning 367. And the reason we have Jobs Beginning 367 is because, well, we are covering Google Earth today. Now, Google Earth is a really good platform um, for geography enthusiasts and really for anything. It can help you get your way around the world. And yeah, so hello, Geography Dean 267. Hello, yes, I'm very excited for this episode on Google Earth. Should be a great one, and I'm pleased to be here. That's right. So um, we're going to be covering actually airports in this one. Now, airports on Google Earth are a very interesting thing. Now, late, now earlier today, I was actually examining um, different aircraft that we can see at airports on Google Earth, and I actually spotted some pretty rare liveries. So we're going to be going all over the world today on Google Earth from the comfort of our homes just to see what it is we can find. So we're going to have our whole searches here. So um, here's Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta. Now, um, Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta has been a big base for um, Delta Airlines. And do you want to tell us where Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport is, Job Feeding 267? I'm pretty sure it is in Atlanta, which is a city in the United States. One, one, it's within the top 100 most popular cities in the world, actually. It's quite popular. Right. So I think it's around uh, 3 million people, 2 million people. It's got quite a lot. So, yeah. And today, along with some aviation knowledge, you'll be getting some geography knowledge from our resident expert um, here at Simple Aviation Geography Genius 67. Now, upon close inspection, I think we can see a few Delta 717s and uh, I think that's the Delta logo on some of these jet bridges, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, it, Delta's base is in Hartsfield Jackson, so I'm not really that surprised. Um, this is a Delta 717 or an MD80, I think. Um, yes, again, and here we have an A320 um, of Deltas. And um more delta aircraft but here is interesting because it just happens that google earth managed to get a rare southwest livery actually on the airport and here we have the southwest logo here and um this is southwest special livery illinois one and so that's one that we are pretty proud to have got and then a couple more delta aircraft and that's pretty much it at hartsville jackson and now we are moving on to Denver International Airport. So Denver is in Colorado. Do you want to give a bit of information before we get in on Denver, Job Union 267? Yes. So Denver is the um, capital city of the state of Colorado. Colorado is um, famous for mountains. Lots of Americans go hiking in the mountains and tourists. All, all, all the time is famous for tornadoes, actually. Oh, hmm. Quite interesting information here. Um, I think, I can't really see that. Uh, I think that's Spirit's old livery, I think, actually. There's a Frontier aircraft. There's a lot of Frontier aircraft in this tunnel. Frontier, Frontier, Frontier. Frontier, more Frontier. And I think this whole tunnel is basically for Frontier. Um, and then we zoom in here. Um, I think I can't really see what I think that's an American aircraft. Um, that's in the old livery, so clearly this photo is old because I know that that livery over there is not Spirit's current livery for sure, it's bright yellow, and I'm pretty sure that this was Frontier's old livery. Um, now moving on here, we have the United aircraft. This whole town was basically. United, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, more United, there's a 737757, A320 there. Um, all of these are in the old livery, obviously, because United changed the livery uh, by, um, only 20, in 2019. So, uh, and this photo was taken a bit of a while ago. And so here we have some turbo props here. So, yeah, that's pretty much Denver done, and there's Few isolated aircraft here, Delta. I think there's a turbo pop. I can't really see what airline that is. It's a bit blurry. And this is Southwest, really. Southwest, Southwest, Southwest. More Southwest. I'm sorry if it's a bit laggy, guys, for you. Um, 
And yes, so our next one that we have is LAX. So uh, Los Angeles Airport, do you want to give a bit of Los Angeles Yes, indeed. So um, Los Angeles International, no, sorry, it's not an international, but Los Angeles Airport is in, um, as the name suggests, the city of Los Angeles. And so the city of Los Angeles is um, the second largest city in the US after New York City. And it is has got like nearly 20 million people. I think it's got around 17.7 million people in the 2021, um, 2021 numbers. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, actually. So um, for close inspection, we can see this is one of the famous um, things at LAX. Um, then here's a control tower now back onto the planes um, here at LAX. Well, um, first here's an American, um, a couple of more of Americans aircraft here, a couple of Embraer jets there. This is a Delta hangar there, so that's pretty cool. Let's see if there's anything in the hangar. Can't really see anything like major aircraft in there. So let's move on from there. Um, a car park is here, a couple of jet bridges, isolated pretty much. Um, let's go back to our view. Um, not much aircraft for a while. And we come back um, to aircraft being here. And I think that that's an American 777, I think, there. Um, another, I think that's an American A320. A um, couple of A320 and 737s here. Um, I think that's another 777. So, yeah. Um, and then moving on over here, that's pretty much it here at LAX. And I think that's it. So. Um, I think that uh, it says that this is a United Airlines hangar, so let's just take a quick peek at that. Um, ah, yes, so I thought so. It had United's big, big word mark in there. Uh, I don't think that we can see inside the hangar there. Um, yep, we can't see inside the hangar. Just um, one more major bit. Oh, there's a Qantas A380 being stored there. There's Delta hangover again. There's a Qantas A380. That's pretty lucky to have got that there. Um, and then Virgin. Uh, what is this? I think this is Virgin Australia. Yeah, two Virgin Australia triple sevens. And then we have the beach over there. So um, I I'm also sorry for the lack of videos that we've been posting, but quite busy and to make up for all of those lost videos, we're doing this. So now we're moving on to France for a bit. So this is Nice de Quitz d'Azur. And um, Geography Genius 267, do you want to give our viewers a bit of information on Nice? Yes, so um, Nice is a city in the south of France. It's very close to the borders of Monaco and um, Italy. It's quite a small city. It's not one of France's major cities, such as Martial, Paris, Bordeaux, Angers, and Lyon, etc. But it's still quite populous and great place to go. South of France, of course, you've got beaches in the Mediterranean Sea coast. Yeah. That's right. And you know, the Mediterranean Sea coast is a nice one, I think. So um, we're going to look at the aircraft too. So um, first thing, I think that's a jet, private jet. Um, and then we have, obviously, since this is in France, we have a lot of Air France aircraft. I think there's a 319 there of Air France. Um, and then um, if we move on away from there, um, I think that's really pretty much it. A couple of private jets here. Not many aircraft over here with the photo shoot, probably. Um, and yeah, I think there's just a couple more private jets here. And I think this whole section is for private jets, if I'm right. Um, if we move on throughout here. Um, yep, practically nothing else really to look at. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw a few A319s when I was planning this video. Um, just lying around, but 
Yeah, obviously, they've gotten um, some AP18s. Uh, I think there's something over here. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's just a plain white aircraft, I think. So, yeah, so now moving on, guys. Um, we're going to go to um, Airport de Charles de Gaulle Paris. This is in France again. Um, do you want to go and give us some information on that, Dr. Gina 367? Yes, okay. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm right in saying this. I think Aviation Team will confirm, but I think it's one of two airports that are in Paris. I'm pretty sure that there are many more, but um, it's one of the, I think it's one of the basically biggest airports in France. So, you've done a pretty good job there. Yes, and so Paris, of course, is the capital city of France. And most people go there. I, I touched on this in my Europe video, so do take a look at that if you want more um, um, information about France. But um, yes, most people go there for the famous Eiffel Tower, which is yes. controversially the tallest Europe, um, sorry, not Europe, building in Europe. And yeah. That's right. So um, if I was right, um, I was not right, sorry, um, wrong in saying that I saw some AC-19s at um, Nice. Um, they were actually here, so um, sorry, guys. There's a DHL um, A330F, I believe. Let's look for that lump underneath the nose. Yep, yep, that's a DHL A330F. And a couple of Air France 777s. There's an Air France cargo um, set. And these are two June um, A320s. Um, look out for June model unboxing soon, guys. We've got that prepared. Couple of empty gates here. Um, and we've got a few aircraft here, so let's just go through them quickly. Um, Air France, Air France. This whole um, time is dedicated to Air France, and so is this. So all of those are. French carriers, and so that's it from here. And do you want to see how close the Eiffel Tower is to Charles de Gaulle? Well, this is your comparison. It's quite far away, if you know what I mean. It's kind of far away. Um, but this is the Eiffel Tower. Um, and I don't know if you want to add anything to that job, PGN six seven. Yes, so the Eiffel Tower, it is um, 310 metres tall. If you go to the very, very tip, it's actually 324 metres tall. And if it was just 310 metres tall, then the Shard in London would be the tallest building in Europe. But since we have to count all the way to the tip, um, it's 324 metres, which crosses the Shard's 315. That's right. And have you been to the Eiffel Tower job for doing this 267? I have. Yes, I have had the pleasure to visit the Eiffel Tower. So, um, and I'd like to add one more thing. Aviation 18, if you could just um, zoom out to have the whole Eiffel Tower in view, because I want to say something. So, Feel you can take... Annotate. Feel free to Oh, yes, I'd like to annotate. So, you can take a, um, a lift from here to here. And then you can take another one from here to here. And then the last one goes all the way straight up. And there's like a bar and restaurant and viewpoint up there. That's right. I think um, I've gone through those lifts, as many of us would have done who visited the Eiffel Tower. Um, so that's another um, interesting thing if you guys want to see that. And um, yes, yeah, so, um, we're going to move on now. And we are making our way over to um, London. So what we're doing is we're just talking about um, the shard now, Dr. Pigeon 67, do you want to just give a quick um, in, um, overview of London? So London is a very, very um, famous city, capital city of the United Kingdom and England. And loads of people go there for education and business. And mm. I'd like to add something about Gatwick Airport. It's one of many airports in London. Another one is Heathrow, Stansted, Luton. I could go on forever. Like, I mean, I couldn't, but there are quite a lot compared to other cities. Also, um, I'm not, if I'm not wrong, 
um, London Gatwick Airport is the home of EasyJet. You can see an EasyJet right. plane over here. And, um, guys, as you will be seeing, there will be an EasyJet special livery here. Now, I'm just going to pause my um, sharing. And so I want to show you guys something. And so bridge after this one can class, but this is a bridge that you will, you will be seeing and this is a British Airways 747 and I'm Joe Geography Genius 267 loves the 747 so um yes yeah, so um the, the British Airways 747 in this image is crossing under that bridge and the bridge connects passengers between terminals and so now we're going to move, we'll move back onto Google Earth and so this is the bridge guys that you were seeing this was where the British Airways 747 was and you will be seeing quite a few easy jets to um, aircraft today, so let me just warn you. Um, this is an easy jet um, 320 Neo. Um, a couple more easy jet aircraft here. There's, I think there's an A319 CO, another A320 CO there. Um, and moving on here, um, you'll be seeing our special review here. Um, A320 CEO here, we have here, I mean, another A319, uh, sorry, A320 CEO we have there, A319 CEO here, um, another A319 CEO here, I think this might be, uh, I, th I don't think easy to operate really, um, and so uh, that's an A320 CEO, so yeah, um, and we have, and uh, this is especially the easy to holidays, um, special blue C over there. That's, I think that might be our last special delivery today. And it's another EasyJet A319 or A320, I think. There. Moving on now, guys. Um, now, Dr. Regions 267 will not be giving us um, some more descriptions for quite a bit because um, we we need we we really just need to just get through these London airports. Um, so now we have. London Luton. So um, London Luton has a couple of aircraft, um, more of like private jets, private jets here. I think there's an EasyJet. Yep, there's an EasyJet A320 Neo. Um, there's another EasyJet in the old livery, A319 Neo, I think there is. Another A319 Neo we have here. And uh, in that's an old livery. And um, we have some more private jets here. And yeah, um, now we're gonna be moving on guys to, um, we just need to check something. This is London City Airport guys, now London City Airport. We did our documentary on it. Um, if you would like to see that, that will be at the end of the video. You'll be able to see that um, in the corner that we tell you that it will be in. Now, here we have a couple of the British Airways City flights. Now, the aircraft approved to um, land at City Airport. I've got the list actually um, from our London City Airport video. Um, and the list, uh, I think I'm just getting it up, guys. Um, do you want to give a quick talk about London City Airport while our listeners wait for me to get the aircraft list ready? Students, 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 students. Yes. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> wait, sorry, guys. There was just something that happened, but oh, yes, no, I am no. back. I've Geek 180. Oh, I've Geek 180. Oh, yes, I've Geek 180 has come. So, I think he will be joining us soon. <laughs> Geek 180, <laughs> that's a great post. How good are you, George? Okay. So, I've Geek 180, I, I think he's here. No, I think he's having some connection. I'm, I'm sorry for the delay, guys, but um, the aircraft um, that can operate out of London City Airport are the ATR 42, both the ATR 42 300 and 42 500 variants, ATR 72, um, the Embraer jets, which include the 135, 170, 190, and E2, um, the Fokker 50 and Fokker 70, the British Aerospace Jets Stream 41. The BAE 146 aka the Avro RJ85 now, the Saab 314-2000, the Havlin Dash 8 Q400, um, Airbus A318, Airbus A220, Dornier um, 228, the Dornier A318, and the Dornier 328 Jet, and the de Havilland Canada DHC7. Now we're going back onto Google Earth and 
Um, how impressive is it that during the pandemic time, Google left the pictures of it? And um, while well, these are some Embraer jets of British Airways City Fly, which operate exclusively out of London City, and I think there's a buzz, that's pretty cool that we get to see them through Google Earth. But this one is the most impressive. It got it with the engine covers being stored. And I think this is one to remember for sure. And a couple of fuel trucks there. And that's pretty much London City for you. And um, now I'm pretty sure we're nearly done. I think we have a couple more to get through. Um, we have London Stansted, guys. Do you want to give a quick description of London Stansted Geography Genius 267? Yeah, so there isn't really much to say about London Stansted. I mean, it's just your typical airport. So um, it's just on the outskirts of London. So um, you have um, the M11 motorway just right beside it. Most people take the M11 motorway to come to London Stansted. It's quite small i think luton is no after london city luton is the smallest but still quite small not like heathrow and gatwick the two mains um, I, I, I hate to interrupt you but london city is the smallest out of them so yeah i did say london city is the smallest. i thought so so yeah so also yeah so that's pretty much london standard because it's just like that it's in essex which is a county in England, England have counties like the US have states for anyone who doesn't know. And yeah. That's right. And what's most impressive that I've just been seeing on Google Earth is that there's a thank you NHS sign on the um, runway, and that's really nice of, of them. Um, and I don't know what these are. Uh, is this part of. Um, I think that is another. Um, Oh no, I think it's the airport. Yeah. I think it's like some it's secondary it's addition to the airport. Uh, actually, I think it's I think it's just inbuilt. So I think we might as well go with this section first. So, um, what we have here is um flyer deal. I don't know why that A three twenty is here. Flyer deal is a Saudi Arabian carrier for low cost carrier. For those of you who don't know, there's an Ryan S M three seven. This is not a three D shot, guys. So it's a bit difficult so there's another Ryanair 737 um I really can't see some of these I think over here is a UPS aircraft I can see that livery um I don't know what that is um I think I, I don't really like these 2d kind of shots um a couple of aircraft here we have a Ryanair aircraft more Ryanair Ryanair with the engine covers on Ryanair, Ryanair, and obviously this was filmed in the pandemic. Um, a couple of regional jets here. There's a UPS 767, I think there. A couple of UPS aircraft here. A couple of Ryanair aircraft here. So that's that bit done. And this bit seems very packed. So um, I don't know what aircraft these are. Oh, these are all Ryanair aircraft. Um, I think Stansted should be a hub for Ryanair. A couple of EasyJet aircraft occupying a terminal here. Um, I can't really see what aircraft that is, the blue one there. A couple more EasyJets, a couple of Jet 2 aircraft here. And that's really London Sunset for you. And our final one here is John F. Kennedy. So John F. Kennedy International Airport. Do you want to give a quick description of New York for those who don't know Jeff Genius 367? Yes, so John F. Kennedy International Airport is in New York City, which is in the state of New York. So mainly people just call New York City New York, but the state is actually called New York, so they call it New York City. John F. Kennedy International Airport was named after, you guessed it, John F. Kennedy, who was a very um, hard American, I mean, not hard, but he was a very devout American patriot. And he is... President of America, actually. Um, yes, he was. So, um, and it's one of the busiest international air passenger um, airports. So you will be able to see that New New York is like divided into like smaller cities. Like you have Newark, very yeah. similar name, New York and Newark. And you also have several small cities. But yeah, that's New York for you. It's the largest city in the US. 
very famous for the Empire State Building, Iron Iron Tower, and some other famous buildings. Yeah. Um, actually, um, John F. Kennedy International Airport is well known for um, previously having BA001 Speedbird call sign, um, which came to New York City, John F. Kennedy. Um, and that was actually why it's special is because that was the Concorde aircraft. And so um, it, until the pandemic came in, um, British Airways retired the A318s. The A318s used to come via London City to Shannon for a review fuel and then to onwards to John F. Kennedy. And that was the aircraft that replaced the BA001 call sign. Um, but yeah, now that's also been retired. So who knows what that is? And in fact, I might as well just check with you guys. Um, and I think it's gone. Yeah. I can't see any. British Airways aircraft with it. So um, that's it, I guess, really. Um, if we want to look, we can um, take a look at New York International um, Airport. And um, it's pretty close still. Um, Newark is in New Jersey. So, yeah, do you want to give a quick description of Newark Geography Genius 267? Yeah, like I have said, Newark, Newark is. Um, kind of very close to um new york but since it's new york is such a big city it's small cities surrounding it are also quite big cities so they have their own um airports and newark as a recent tina said is in new jersey united states and it's a great place to go those people go there for work i think and it's airport is actually quite interestingly shaped as um aviation tina is showing from a satellite um, it's kind of split into like these circle drone, like drones kind of stuff. Um, there is an American seven three seven as we can see there. Um, a lot of trucks I can see there. Um, I think that might be a bit too many trucks for my liking if I were to own the airport. But of course, I do not own New York International Liberty International Airport. Um, and now I don't really know what else we can go on. We can. On and on. Um, I think we can go on to um, maybe Hong Kong International Airport and then we might go into one of India's airports. Um, and so this is um, Hong Kong International Airport. Now it replaced Czech Lap Kok. Um, it replaced Kai Tak, which was on the island of Czech um, Lap Kok. And I don't, unfortunately, I think we might not be able to do this because it's the 2D kind of um, images. So I think we might have to, do you want to just give a quick description on New, New, um, not New York, Hong Kong International, uh, Hong Kong, while our viewers wait for us, Geography Genius 267. Yes, so Hong Kong is um, a, one of two special administrative states in China. The other one is in Macau. Um, it's the fourth most densely populated state in the world. And anyone who doesn't know, densely populated means um, that it's got the most people in the least area. And so um, many, um, there are many things about Hong Kong that are debatable. For example, whether it's part of China or its own country. So technically, as the UN have classified, is that Hong Kong is a territory owned by China but it has its own laws and rules and uh, but it seems as though since there are loads of process that it might become its own country in maybe a couple of decades time and um guys if you've been tuning to the geography explained podcast um season five you would know that i was on there with colonization and obviously you know the britain um did colonize hong kong didn't they so um yeah, yeah they did and I'm really sorry to keep you on your feet, Geography Genius 67, but we have Warsaw Chopin Airport. Um, and I'll give you a quick description but then to, um, on the airport itself, but Geography Genius 67 will be giving you a bigger um, introduction to Poland itself a bit later. So there's an Air China aircraft, and I saw a couple um, of Air China aircraft here, and I was like, what are you doing here? Um, there are some Air China A330s here. Um, and here is 
um, a Nordica aircraft, I think that is. This is a colorful LOT Polish Airlines and aircraft, and we've got some colorful liveries here. So we've got some um, nice um, liveries here, special liveries. There's some very uh, lot Polish Airlines um, ones here. So I can't really see what that big aircraft is doing there. I think, but that's another special lot Polish Airlines livery. Um, some nice and colorful ones here we have. Um, I don't know what that is. I think that's an oh yes, that's an Austrian aircraft. Um, oh, that's a really nice shot of a Polish LOT airline seven eight seven. Um, there. Uh, moving on. Um, here we have the Corendon Airlines seven three seven. Um, we have a couple more LOT Polish airline aircraft. Um. And, you know, as Pol LOT Polish Airlines is the flag carrier of Poland, you know, it's understandable that there are so many. Um, here's a Lufthansa E321CO um, over here. Um, here is a small play planet, um, E321CO. There's a Finn Air and Brea aircraft. Um, over here, guys, moving on. Um, we have um that is a star alliance livery of lot polish airlines um we also have an a320 co of Aer Lingus here um and there's enter air who is a leasing company um and yeah that's um warsaw chopin it's named after the famous um pianist um frederick chopin um, I've been to there actually. Nice facilities, um, nice plane spotting you can do there. And Jokri Dinas, do you want to give a short overview of Poland? Poland, yes. Poland is a country in Europe. It's um, towards the west. No, sorry, the east. Sorry about that, guys. And it borders Germany, Czech Republic. I think it borders Czech Republic and also Slovakia and Ukraine. And you also have Lithuania and Belarus. It also borders Russia, even though it's more on the inside of Europe. But that's because um, Kaliningrad, which is a Russian-owned state, is between um, Lithuania and Poland. So it's classified as bordering Russia. Um, Poland had a very hard time during the Second World War. And Germany went to... Um, they practically owned Poland, half of what. Um, I think we've seemed to have lost half of what. Um, uh, I think. Sorry about that, guys. I have connection issues. I think I um. I think there's a bit of trouble. Um, but um, yeah. Uh, we'll be moving on. I'm really sorry to have double reading issues, etc. And so moving on now, Berlin Brandenburg Airport, Willy Brandenburg. In Berlin and your previous descendants here to give a short description about Berlin. Yeah, seven on a short description of Berlin. So, um, Berlin is the capital city of Germany and also the largest city. It is one of the largest cities in Europe since, but um, not Berlin. Germany is the second largest country in Europe. Um, it, by population, excluding Russia, because Russia, actually, including Russia, sorry about it, guys, I don't know what's wrong with me today, but yes, after Russia, it's the uh, second largest, um, sorry, oh, sorry, I'm really sorry, guys, I don't know what's wrong with me, but after Russia, it's the largest, pop it's the largest country in Europe by population, and it has got a Berlin Brandenburg airport, as ABC Teen is showing, and yes, that's it about Berlin. Right, and easy to use this time when, oh, well, I don't know if you guys know, um, we'll be doing a documentary about this shortly about the story of Berlin Brandenburg Airport. In short, it took around like 10 years to complete and all of its, um, you know, opening dates when it would be launched were being really wrecked and delayed and, Finally, in 2020, it opened with a nice easy jet and Lufthansa A320 Neo celebration. 
Um, EasyJet used this time actually when there weren't much traffic here to park their aircraft as shown here. Here is a special EasyJet livery, so we're getting a lot of special liveries. So I have Austria here, um, visit Austria. And yeah, um, I, I can't really see any other planes here. I don't know why, but there should be more, but I can't see any. Um, so now moving on, we're gonna be moving on to 